Excellent. Okay, great. So hello, everybody. Today is October 10th. And we are having Amazon join us. And um, it's a busy day for them because today and tomorrow is um, Prime Day on um, Amazon. So lots of uh, great deals. And we have a lot of uh, wonderful students joining us. So I hope you've got a lot of questions. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off, I'm gonna introduce you to our guests from Amazon. And they're just going to do a little overview about Amazon, uh, their operations recruiting. And then we, you can ask questions at any time in chat, or you can wait and go on video or um, put it in chat till the end. Okay. And we will probably be definitely finished by 430. Okay. So Jessica Zarada, why don't you kick it off and introduce Abdullah and we'll go from there. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Judy. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having us. Um, my name is Jessica. I am a recruiter with Amazon's University Operations Recruiting Team. I've been with Amazon for about four and a half years um, and been with the university team for the last two. Um, and I'm super excited to be here and meeting with you all today. And I want to introduce you uh, to my recruiting partner for the meantime, but also a very experienced area manager, Abdullah. Hi, how's it going everybody? Yeah, my name is Abdullah. Uh, I've been with the Amazon now for, I think I'm just about to hit two and a half years. Um, yeah, but I started the university program about two months ago. It's a short-term assignment, but I love to, you know, get different parts of the business and see how, how things are done outside of the warehouse. But nonetheless, excited to be here with you all today and kind of give you a scope of what working in uh, Amazon looks like. Fantastic. Okay. So do you want to start with the slides, Jessica? Sure can. Okay. Happy to give you all a little bit more of a background into operations and kind of what we're here for, um, because Amazon is a very large company, as I'm sure you guys all know, and there are many different parts of Amazon. Um, and so we're here today from operations recruiting, which does refer to our giant supply chain network. So our fulfillment center network. Um, if you guys are not familiar with that, um, if you can picture Right now it's prime day, right? So any any items that you're placing orders for today, um, these are gonna be the people that are directly uh, managing those orders and getting those to your door. Um, so we really believe that um, at the heart of the Amazon experience is operations. Um, and again, this is going to be that really integral supply chain network of different fulfillment centers and sort centers and delivery stations that are all working for you all to make sure that your packages are there on time. Um, and so for recruiting, we have a lot of great opportunities that we'll talk through a little bit later about um, positions that are internships and full-time opportunities that you can apply for today. We are actively hiring um, and all of our internships give you a really um, great uh, experience into operations or HR um, within operations or workplace health and safety within operations. So there's a lot of different pieces to it. Um, to give you all a little bit more of a background into operations and what that means, Abdullah, do you want to kind of sure. take over on that part? So, you know, the fulfillment centers are a big part of Amazon. It's, as Jessica was saying, it's kind of like the middle part of the organization where after your orders are, are placed, we kind of handle everything from picking that order to packaging them and sending them out to be delivered directly to your doors. So online ordering gets fulfilled through our fulfillment centers. It's a 24 seven operations, 364 days a year. We typically do close on Christmas days, but there are other holidays that depending on the location may close for those days as well. Uh, there's several different departments in the FC. Those include the stow and receiving within the inbound department. And then outbound consists of uh, picking, sortation, packing, and shipping your overall item to directly to the uh, customer. Um, but again, buildings vary by the item and type. So 
smaller items might end up in one warehouse and larger items might end up in another warehouse, all depending on the specific item that we're kind of storing and shipping out through that specific building. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Abdullah. Um, and I know it says it's a 24 hour operation. That does not mean you'll be working for 24 hours. Um, we do have certain set shifts throughout. Um, there'll be day shift and night shift opportunities um, that kind of make sure that that operation flows smoothly for you all and you don't um, you don't notice any drops uh, in, in time to get your packages fulfilled. So some of the roles that we hire for through university operations um, within these buildings, um, so that whole supply chain network, the buildings are going to vary. So what that role looks like might vary a little bit, um, but the main focus of, of the opportunities that we hire for are our area manager role, um, both internship and full time, um, our workplace health and safety role also internships and full-time opportunities available, and human resources. Uh, we're going to dive into a little bit more about our area manager role specifically, um, both intern and full-time, um, just because that is the majority of what we recruit for. Um, but to give you all a little bit of information in terms of the HR and workplace health and safety roles that we also have available, um, human resources, it is an HR partner role. So giving you the opportunity to start as an HR partner directly out of college, it's a really great opportunity in that role. Um, you would be on site within our fulfillment center supporting all of the HR operations that you can think of. So um, Escalations is top of mind, but you'll also be working with employee appreciation, um, working directly with area managers um, for areas of focus for any particular individuals, making sure that, um, you know, pay and all of the um, things that go into HR are completed. So you really get that full scope and there's a lot of upward mobility within HR as well. Um, for workplace health and safety, it's more of an individual contributor role where you would have the opportunity to really dive into all the safety aspects of a building. So you would get um, experience when there's new equipment in training everybody to make sure that everybody is trained up on how to use that safely you'll provide safety tips in the morning to make sure that everybody is um, uh, working cohesively and making sure that there's no barriers to safety in the building um, and there's also upward mobility within um, workplace health and safety as well anything i missed on workplace health and safety abdullah um that's pretty much the gist of it you're a lot of times you are working directly with a lot of the associates within the building, you know, ensuring everyone's working safely, wearing proper attire, but overall you, you hit pretty much all the points there and just overall safety of, of the building and you know, ensuring everyone's following those, those measures as well. Yeah. And then the, the majors that are best suited for that role would be anybody that's maybe majoring in occupational health and safety, environmental safety, um, chemical engineering. Uh, there's a lot of different backgrounds, um, but it is more of that um, OSHA compliant type of work um, if you are interested in that. And now we'll get into a little bit more about our area manager role. Abdul, you want to start us, start us off? Uh, kind of going back into that about like certain majors of, you know, uh, for like the workhouse safety. Um, I've met multiple different people, you know, working. Some have been police, uh, police officers or firefighters. So Amazon kind of tailors to everybody. So there's always a role and position for anybody out there, you know, depending on your, your past experiences and education. So there's always there's a role for someone out there for whatever you guys are studying. So that's one of the great things about Amazon is there's a role for everybody. Um, but more going into the area manager role, something that I've done, um, you know, now two and a half years, kind of got the ins and outs of it. But primarily, it's it's you know, it is open to those of the bachelor's graduates uh, dating between December twenty four and twenty five. Uh, that's for our area manager, sorry, area manager intern role. Um, you know, communicating policies to your team and act as a source of information for the team, ensuring procedures are followed for building security and protecting loss prevention. Uh, partnering with the management team to establish and maintain quality control standards. You know, an in intern will more like they'll team up with other managers, you know, on their shift within the building to kind of understand how a lot of processes and operations are handled throughout the, the uh, site. Um, 
you know, you're developing performance goals and objectives to achieve customer demand and ensure accuracy and quality. And you're engaging with your team of about 50 to 200 associates, all partnering with experienced members of Amazon operations. Um, you know, depending on, you know, the department you're in, typically you will have a team of about 50 to even 200 associates on any given day. Um, what's great about that is you're meeting, you know, multiple different people and you're, you're working closely with other support teams to just ensure the day-to-day -day operations are running smoothly. Um, you know, when I first started, it was, you know, very, very exciting to see, you know, the vast, uh, the, how, how Amazon operates. So, you know, the Amazon intern role gives you guys the perspective of, you know, how things are done on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. Absolutely. So that's a summer, that's a summer role, correct? Yes, I was going to say this is a 10 week internship in the summer of 2024. Um, our HR partner and workplace health and safety um, specialist internships are the same. It's all summer of 2024, 10 week internships. Um, there are a few different start times to this, depending on, you know, the end date for your classes. But the typical start times are going to be, you know, mid to late May, early June for that internship and go throughout the summer. Um, another big piece of our internships as well is that not only are you getting all of that background knowledge of what it's like to be an area manager with Amazon, but you also get the opportunity to take on a project that really relates back to our invent and simplify leadership principle that we have here at Amazon, where you are able to kind of innovate in this space um, and get a lot of the skills that you would get as an Amazonian, um, which definitely includes um, not only working those innovative skills, but writing. Um, so we write a lot at Amazon, so you'll write kind of a doc like you would if you're doing a research paper um, in class. And so you would kind of do something very similar to that and kind of make a proposal to upper leadership about your idea or your innovation and have the opportunity to present that to them. So a lot of those same skills that you're learning right now will be applicable <laughs> to this role, which is amazing. Um, so you'll get the opportunity to, to kind of go through all of that. And then the good thing about our internships too is that, you know, kind of the goal behind all of them is that we would love to be able to have a successful internship um, and be able to give you a full-time offer for after graduation so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so that is a little bit about our um, area manager intern role. Any questions on that piece before we move to the full-time space? And where are they based? the area manager intern. Uh, Great question. So we have nationwide opportunities um, for our roles. What we do ask though, is that um, you are a little bit open to where you might be placed for your internship for the summer. Um, if you're ever asked to, to go greater than 50 miles from your address, Amazon offers relocation and you know housing and all of those things that would not be at a cost to you. Um, and so, it's kind of a benefit, you might be able to see a new place for the summer, um, get to experience a new city. Um, but for the most part, we do try to uh, stick to your location preferences, but we also have to take into account the um, opportunities that are given to us by the sites to host interns for the summer. Any other questions about the summer internship? Feel free to speak out or put it in chat. I, if not, we'll probably go to the full-time roles. Perfect. All right. So kind of what a day in the life of an area manager might look like. Um, you know, this role is open to those graduating, you know, with a bachelor's or master's degrees between the, the month of May, 2020 and August of 2024. Um, you know, what an area manager would typically do is lead and manage and develop a team of 50 to 200 Amazon associates. As I said before, it all depends on the department that you're in, but you will typically have a larger group of associates that you'll be directing, leading and managing uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, you know, on a day you'll be communicating policies to associates and act as the primary information source for the team, maintaining compliance, consistency, and taking corrective action when needed. So you, you you are acting as a manager, you know, even though you were working with a large group of people, you know, you are designated to a certain amount of associates underneath you are acting as your manager, you know, following with compliances, you know, relaying messages from, you know, in terms of safety and, uh, you know, anything new that's happening within the building. And now, of course, taking corrective action when needed. 
Uh, you create and manage, sorry, you create, manage, and support recognition projects and communicate communication programs. Um, you know, during my time at Amazon, I've you know took on a few different projects that I saw might you know benefit the overall process of of what a day to day looks like. Um, you know, that's all dependent on you know what you do as an individual within you know within Amazon. You know, taking on various projects, working with other managers uh, on on figuring out ways to make processes more smoothly, or it could be working with different affiliating programs and, you know, taking taking control and charge of different clubs and organizations within Amazon. So a lot of freedom to work on, you know, you know, personal projects or group projects with other area managers around the, uh, within the warehouse. Uh, you're also supporting all safety programs and OSHA compliances to ensure a safe work environment for all associates. Um, you know, in terms of those other two, you know, roles that we offer with, you know, uh, WHS and HR is we work very closely with those two support teams, you know, typically on a day to day basis, uh, working with HR and working with, uh, you know, the safety team to ensure, you know, associates are given the care needed in terms of, you know, whether it's their pay or whether they're having, you know, not feeling well for the day, you're working very closely with different support teams that with, you know, around Amazon. Uh, your insurance procedures are followed by building security and product uh, product loss prevention. Again, working very closely with security and um, uh, you know loss prevention, we call LP. Those are another you know support teams that we work with on a daily basis. Um, you know, partnering with management teams to establish and maintain quality control standards, and developing performance goals and objectives to achieve customer demand and ensure accuracy and qual uh, quality. Uh, any every day at Amazon is different. Um, you know, your goals are different on a weekly basis. You know, no, I, I like to say no day looks the same. You're, you're, there's different things you're trying to achieve every other week. And it's just exciting to be a part of that and trying to, you know, maintain everything because um, it is a very fast paced environment. So you're working very closely with other managers, other support teams, uh, and just trying to reach your daily goals with not just the rest of your team, but the associates with you as well. Absolutely. And another great thing about this role is that Amazon is one of very few companies that allow you to become a manager directly out of college and has a great training program to get you set up for success for a long career um, with us at Amazon. And there are, I, I think I, for time, don't have that slide on here, but um, as we mentioned, there's a lot of different teams that you kind of all work together. Um, once you're, you know, let's say you start as an area manager, you've worked as an area manager for a year and you want to try something within HR um, or workplace health and safety or recruiting, right? There's a lot of great internal mobility as well that's offered um, and owning your own development within Amazon is huge. So whatever you really want to do, um, being able to, um, you know, talk to people and get the right resources to get where you would like to be. Um, and also on the flip side, right, as a manager, helping your associates grow in their careers and being able to provide them with the resources that they want um, to be able to, to move forward and upward within their own careers. So definitely a rewarding position and great opportunity to start in management. So we did talk a little bit about the potential shifts, but to get a little bit more um, nitty gritty on that. Um, so our typical shifts are gonna be day shifts or night shifts. Um, you typically will work four days on and then have three days off, which is great. <laughs> um, uh, something that we don't see a ton in the corporate world right now. Um, but you would, if you were working Days, a typical shift would be about 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., um, four days of the week. So it could be the front half of the week or the back half. So front half referring to Sunday through Wednesday, back half referring to Wednesday through Saturday um, days or nights. The shifts are going to be fixed. So it's not like you're going to be working all of these random shifts um, all the time. It's going to be set. And then that way, whoever is on the same shift with you in the same department as you, that is your who 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 you're managing so like um the area that you're in that's why it's called an area manager um is is where you would be um supporting 
And then we do just ask for some flexibility in working on these different shifts. Even in the internships, um, there's a possibility that you might work an overnight shift for your internship. Um, and I just encourage you all to be open to that. There's a lot of perks to working um, an overnight shift or um, a back half shift. Um, and so we just ask that you kind of are, are open to that. And then kind of the process. So in terms of recruiting, um, if you all are interested, on the next slide, I'll have a QR code. What I ask is that you guys just scan that QR code, um, fill out the short survey. It only should take you a minute. It's just going to allow us to get that email from you so that we can follow up with um, all the links to the roles that we talked about today. And then we also do understand that operations isn't everybody's cup of tea. So we're happy to um, provide those resources for other um, student programs teams that are offered through Amazon, even though we don't directly support hiring for them. If you guys are interested, we obviously would love for you to all have the opportunity to, to join us here at Amazon. So for our roles, the process is um, applying. There will be a virtual assessment um, that's part of the application. Um, we'll send a link that kind of helps uh, you walk through that process, but it can take anywhere from about 30 minutes to 50 minutes, depending. Um, and we do recommend taking your time with that virtual assessment. It is part of the application. And then um, the next step is to move on to the interview stage and you'll be provided with all the prep materials, interview with us, um, and then you would hear back within five business days um, on that outcome. And then the next step would be, you know, placing you, looking at those location preferences and the um, locations that we have available, and then moving into that offer stage. So how can you get started? Um, this is that QR code that I was talking about. Um, definitely please uh, scan that and then fill that out and we're happy to, to provide um, you with some follow-up links and full job descriptions. And Abdullah wants to talk about a local opportunity actually um, that we'll also send a link to if you are all interested. Yeah, um, yeah. Just, as Jessica said, well, we're having an interview event actually coming this next Tuesday on the 17th. It'll actually be in person at one of our uh, buildings in North Haven. I'll actually be facilitating it myself. So. I think Jessica's going to send something to you guys after. It's a link to actually apply to that job. Um, we do ask the, if I'm not mistaken, the it closes tomorrow night. So if you guys are interested and would like to, we'd be happy for you guys to apply, you know, between now and tomorrow night in order to get you guys in for an uh, in-person interview uh, in uh, North Haven, Connecticut. So I'm sure if a lot of you guys are, you know, familiar with the area, stores isn't too far of a drive. We'd love to see you out there in person. Um, I'll be there myself again on the 17th. Uh, so, you know, if, if you guys are interested, please, you know, hit the link and, you know, apply and we hope to see you guys there. Yes. Um, and that Do you want to put the link in chat? Is that possible? Because I won't know where to find everybody after, <laughs> after they're gone. Well, we can follow up as long as they um, scan the QR code and fill okay. out the information. We will have everything that we need to follow up. Okay, um, for this particular event in North Haven, yeah. I need the, the link for that. But okay, so everybody scan there. And, and the event in North Haven is to interview or an info session like see a, a fulfillment center? It's uh, it's an, interview. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interview event. So they actually be interviewing and they get a chance also to take a tour of the facility um, after their interview as well. Okay. And this would be for the full time area manager role. So um, if anybody is a recent graduate or a soon to be graduate, um, this would be the opportunity for you. Okay, sounds great. Um, so that was fantastic and we've learned a lot. Um, if anybody has questions, either put your video on or put it in chat. Uh, we are happy to hear your questions. Yes, go ahead. Thank you, Judy. Uh, my name is Chris. I'm a recent MBA grad, and uh, my question is for Abdullah. Uh, regarding the area manager positions, I, I'm always curious when I see these posted of managing 50 to 200 people. Uh, I think you know that typically, you know, management is fewer people than that. Uh, and so, how does it work? Uh, what are the the good parts about it? The difficulties? Things like that. Right. Um, well, as you like, as you said, like 50 to 200, it is a lot of people. Um, you wouldn't be necessarily managing 
underneath you a full 200 people. So for example, I worked in the inbound department, which roughly has about 250 associates, and that's split among five different area managers. And underneath each area manager as well are process assistants, which are, you can say are supervisors. So you have a lot of support in terms of leadership there when dealing with this amount of associates. Um, you know, the struggles are, there are a lot of associates, but Amazon has a really great system in place to kind of maintaining that, that amount of um, associates you're handling. Uh, in terms of, you know, having one-on-ones with, with the, the associates, you, you do have that chance. And as an area manager, I like to say a lot too, or a lot too is you're more of a, a people manager. I, I'd say 80% of my job is, you know, interacting and, and talking with the associates on a daily basis. You know, a lot of the, way, like I said, the way Amazon is structured is, the process and or you know operations is kind of done without even thinking about it but you as an area manager you are there to support the associates and you know having those tasks you know completed on a daily basis so it, it might see it sound overwhelming hearing 50 to 200 associates but you know when you're when you're in the midst of it and you're you know you're talking with each and every individual one you do gain relationships with every one of them um you know i i like i said i've been doing it for two and a half years and I have, you know, a first name basis with a hundred plus of them, just because I've been there for so long. I get to know them very well, and it is a very exciting. I, I, well, that's probably the most exciting part about my job is having that ability to, you know, interact with, you know, different people on a daily basis and a team of that size. It gives you that opportunity as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Uh, any other questions? I just wanted to ask a question. Um, I know that these are the warehouse based jobs and you know that that's super important. If anybody was interested in more of the, let me call them corporate jobs, are they based in New York and Seattle or where are they based? That's a great question. Um, unfortunately, our team doesn't support those. We just support operations for Amazon, um, but there are uh, teams that support university hiring for some of our corporate roles. Um, and so I'm gonna link to those pages within Amazon's job board so that people can take a look at those roles and where they're located. Um, Typically, our corporate hubs right now for Amazon is Seattle, Nashville, and um, DC. Well, uh, Arlington, no, Arlington, Virginia, is that right? I think that so. That's yeah. right. Yes. Okay. I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah. So those three would typically be the corporate hubs, but there are quote unquote corporate offices other places as well, you know, like in Austin, Texas. And um, so, there might be opportunities posted um, in New York at a corporate mm -hmm. office, um, but it just it it definitely depends. And unfortunately, we don't have the the greatest visibility into those openings. But happy to link them for sure. Sure, sure, sure. I just want to add to that as well. Um, you know, I came in as an operations. Obviously, I, I love it, but I also know a lot of people who joined operations, and after their first year, they had you know there's great room for growth within Amazon and. I think I know of the half of the people that I started with actually got careers, you know, in corporate roles around America. So, you know, even starting starting within operations is a great uh, step, stepping stone to get into an operations field. Um, you know, obviously, if that's not if they're not looking for operations at the time being, that's another story. But, you know, for someone who who is looking forward to that in the future, you know, operations is a great, you know, stepping stone to get to that position as well. Well, it's also the heart of your business. Exactly. <laughs> so if you don't understand the heart of your business, you know, which is supply chain and fulfillment and quick delivery, which we all love about your your business model, then you know, it's it's always important to understand the nitty gritty of your business. So. Exactly, it does provide a great foundation for you, and you get a lot of great skills it's really kind of a jack of all trades role because you get the opportunity to be not only a people leader but you're managing operations you're innovating you're writing you're working on projects you're working with a lot of different backgrounds um so it is it's a really great 
opportunity for those that are that are open to it. We understand it's not everyone's cup of tea for sure, but um, if you're open to it, it could be a great opportunity for you all. Sure. Okay, so we're getting close to our close, but if anybody has one last question, jump in there. Okay. So thank you very much, Jessica and Abdullah. Thank you for your time, especially on Prime Day. And <laughs> students who have joined us, thank you very, very much. This is also recorded and will be available on our YouTube channel. So for those of you who want to watch or recommend it to our, a friend of yours, um, it's also available on the Business School YouTube channel. So. Thank you. Um, oh, somebody's just new to being let in. Okay, he'll have to watch it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so thank you very much. Everybody have a great day. Okay? Okay. Thank, thank you, you all so much. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, everyone.